Today, we're diving into the best summer destinations in Europe. From fairy tale castles to breathtaking fjords, Europe really does have it all. So, let's get started with our top picks for the best summer destinations in Europe. First up, let's talk about Bavaria. It's one of my favorite places. Bavaria, Germany is a magical destination during the summer. It has picture-perfect towns, majestic castles like Neuschwanstein Castle, and the stunning Alps. Absolutely. <laughs> Bavaria has so much to offer. You can start in Munich, where you can spend a day or two exploring this city, including the Marienplatz and that world-famous Glockenspiel. Mm -hmm. You can't leave there without visiting that. Bavaria boasts some of the most enchanting landscapes in Europe. It's set against the dramatic backdrop of the Bavarian Alps, and the region is just a feast for the eyes with rolling hills, lush forests, and emerald lakes. Yeah, and the snow-capped mountains are the place to spend a few days enjoying hiking and biking, or simply riding the gondolas for the bird's eye view of the valleys and the jagged peaks all in the distance. Oh, it really is breathtaking. It is beautiful. And the countryside is just so green and lush with these rolling hills. And it's dotted with medieval villages. There's all kinds of charming towns where you'll see the half timbered houses. You can go for walks in cobblestone streets. And there's a lot of historic landmarks that will just transport you right back in time. The romantic road winds through these scenic landscapes, leading to fairy tale castles like Neuschwanstein Castle, which is the fairy tale castle that Walt Disney models Sleeping Beauty Castle after. But there are also other castles in Bavaria that are just as beautiful, such as Linderhof Palace and here in Chemsey Palace on Lake Chemsey. With breweries and beer halls, outdoor adventures, cultural attractions, and delicious Bavarian food, Bavaria has something for everyone. Plus, the summer weather in Bavaria, it's wonderful. It's warm, but not too hot, while being sunny and clear, which is perfect for visiting this region of Germany. It's an amazing European destination in the summer. Because we traveled there in June and July, and it was spectacular. We had clear skies to these, see those majestic peaks. And if you want to find out on all of the other things you can do in Bavaria, watch our full video to create your own Bavarian itinerary. Next on our list is Switzerland. Now we have visited Switzerland four times, including a three week road trip in the middle of summer. Switzerland offers endless summer adventures from the Mediterranean feeling of Ticino to the Alps of Grindelwald, Zermatt and St. Moritz to the decadent spas of Bad Ragaz. It really has something for everyone. Switzerland's Alps, they dominate the landscape with towering peaks like the Matterhorn standing proudly over Zermatt. These areas provide a backdrop for adventures in the summer as they shed that snowy blanket that everybody thinks of with Switzerland to reveal green pastures with pretty cows grazing in the meadows that are dotted with wildflowers all high up in the mountain. Yeah, it's like a postcard perfect scene. Those endless blue skies are perfect for any outdoor activities like hiking, mountain biking. Actually, we did all of them. You can enjoy alpine tracks with panoramic views or take one of the many gondolas and funiculars and trains way up into the mountains to enjoy incredible viewpoints. Switzerland is also home to pristine lakes from Lake Geneva to Lake Lucerne and Lake Zurich, inviting you to go swimming, paddle boarding, or simply kicking back by the shore. From the charming villages of Grindelwald and Zermatt to the glamorous cities of Zurich, Basel, and Lucerne, you can catch a glimpse of traditional and modern Swiss life. Yeah, with the historic cathedrals, expensive shopping streets, lively nightlife, and gorgeous squares, Swiss cities have something for everyone. If you want to escape the Swiss Alps, head to the south of Switzerland where you'll feel as if you have stepped into a little slice of Italy. Colorful buildings line picturesque lakes where you can bask in the sun. Switzerland enjoys a pleasant summer climate with warm days and cool nights. This is the perfect weather that allows you to make the most of outdoor activities during the day and enjoy relaxing evenings with stunning views of the sunset over mountains or lakes. It's your choice. 
Now let's head north to Scandinavia, focusing on Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. These countries are often overlooked for a summer vacation, but they have incredible summer experiences. They offer a unique blend of scenic landscapes, outdoor adventures, and cultural experiences. With their Viking history, they are fascinating destinations for history buffs, and the cities are beautiful. Plus, the outdoor adventures are boundless. We put these three destinations together because, you know what, they're expensive. And it's really worth combining them in a trip to see all of them in the same vacation. In the summer, they're not nearly as hot as the south of France or the Greek islands. Norway is renowned for its dramatic fjords, which are not to be missed. Sonja Fjord and Hardanger Fjord are the easiest to visit with tours leaving from Oslo. Now the capital city of Oslo is beautiful with a blend of modern and historic architecture. Bergen is our particular favorite with 14th century buildings lining the waterfront known as Bregen. The town lies at the bottom of seven mountains where you can take a cable car up to Mount Udakrin or you can hike. I'm telling you, everyone in Scandinavia is outdoors in the summer taking advantage of that balmy weather. Yeah, and I would say Sweden is equally as enchanting. Uh, Stockholm's archipelago offers these stunning island hopping tours, while Gothenburg's coast is perfect for sailing and seafood lovers. Denmark is another must stop on your Scandinavian summer vacation with Copenhagen front and center. Stroll along the iconic streets of Navine with its boats lining the canal. This is the most beautiful place, one of the most beautiful cities in all of Europe. It's where Hans Christian Andersen used to live and you can even go out to see the Little Mermaid while you're in that city. Tivoli Gardens is another place you shouldn't miss, inspired actually Walt Disney in his designs of Disneyland. And it's easy to travel around Scandinavia with an extensive train network and ferries and cruise lines connecting the countries. Luckily for you, Scandinavian summers are mild and pleasant with long days and comfortable temperatures making ideal weather for the outdoor activities of hiking, relaxing, and exploring the charming villages. Next, let's visit the Scottish Highlands. The Highlands really are a nature lover's paradise with so many heights and the views really do take your breath away. Have these towering cliffs and lush green valleys. There are locks all throughout the country and if you're wondering, a lock is a lake. The first one everyone thinks of is Loch Ness and it's known for the legendary Loch Ness monster and it is beautiful. Even if you don't see Nessie, it's worth going out to. It's not too far from Inverness. Loch Lomond is another place for picnicking and waterfalls. We suggest driving the North Coast 500 from Inverness, which is the capital of the Highlands. There are a ton of stops, including battlefields and ancient cairns, pretty villages of like Gerlach and Ullapool, with massive sea caves, beaches, and of course, that Highlander history. John O'Groats is at the northeastern tip of Scotland, and it's one of the most iconic stops on the entire drive with the Duncansby stack standing proud out on the shores. It's just a beautiful piece of scenery. The history and cultural experiences in the Scottish Highlands are outstanding, with distilleries to go for whiskey tastings and castles galore like Dunrobin Castle, the Castle of May, and Eileen Dolan, which was used in the blockbuster film Highlander. And really, summer is the perfect time to visit. The days are long, giving you plenty of daylight. And believe it or not, there are beautiful beaches to bask in the sun, and you can even go surfing. But just remember to pack your wetsuit. Yeah, the water's a little bit cold. <laughs> but the weather itself is pretty pleasant, with temperatures averaging around 15 to 20 degrees Celsius, which is 59 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So you're not gonna freeze, and it's actually a comfortable place to be road tripping. It's really a trip you'll never forget. You can check out our video. We have a whole video dedicated to our road trip on the North Coast 500, so you can plan your own. Last, but certainly not least, is Northern Ireland. Not to be mistaken with Ireland, Northern Ireland is a country of natural beauty and plenty of cultural experiences. 
Its landscapes range from this rugged coastline and rolling green hills to serene lakes and ancient forests. Yeah, one of the most iconic wonders is the Giant's Causeway, a UNESCO World Heritage Site featuring thousands of these hexagonal basalt columns formed by ancient volcanic activity. The Causeway Coastal Route is one of the most scenic drives on Earth, and it stretches from the capital city of Belfast all the way to Derry. It's a short drive, but there's a lot to see. Yeah, it has incredible coastal views, sea cliffs, stacks, beaches, and these really, really cool, charming seaside villages. Some of the highlights that you'll see while you're gonna be there is the Karikareed Rope Bridge, which provides incredible views and really a thrilling experience as you cross from the mainland to a small island on a really narrow bridge. The Glens of Antrim are a series of nine lush valleys that are perfect for hiking and exploring with waterfalls, rivers, and more of those picturesque villages. You'll also stumble upon historic castles on those famous dramatic sea cliffs overlooking the North Atlantic Ocean and enjoy sights that were made famous by the hit series Game of Thrones. We're a fan of that series. Yeah, like the Dark Henches is one of the famous stops from the Game of Thrones that is a must stop on your Ireland road trip. And it's very close to the Bushmills distillery, so you can sneak in a whiskey tasting as well. All of this is bookended with two of our favorite cities, Belfast and Londonderry. Belfast is the capital city and home to the Titanic. So you'll want to wander the Titanic Quarter along the waterfront and visit the immersive Titanic Museum. After exploring this vibrant city from a black cab or on foot, you'll want to make your way to Londonderry where you can walk its city walls that are one of the best preserved city walls in all of Europe. It is here you'll learn about its long and troubled history and you'll definitely want to go into Free Dairy to find out more about the troubles of Northern Ireland. Whether you're exploring those scenic coastal routes, hiking in the mountains, or immersing yourself in the rich history and culture, Northern Ireland is a destination that promises really unforgettable memories and a true sense of wonder. The summer weather in Northern Ireland is mild, with temperatures around 15 to 20 degrees Celsius or 59 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So there you have it, our top picks for the best summer destinations in Europe that will keep you away from the crowds of Italy, Greece, France, and Spain. Each of these places offers unique experiences and stunning landscapes that are perfect for a summer getaway. We hope this video inspires your next adventure and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel tips and guides on theplanetd.com. Make sure to tell us where your favorite summer destination is to avoid the crowds. Thanks for watching and happy travels. Ciao for now.